Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's the next day. This right here is going to be part two of the Dell Precision T7500. So as y'all know that I was getting the error code 2, 3, and 4 in the video. I think I may have put uh, added a notation, something like 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I was actually tired of that morning whenever I had edited it. The video I showed y'all what the problem was so now I've done um, recreated that problem and I want to show y'all right now what this machine is doing being that I didn't do it in the other video so anyway let's go ahead and let's do that right now all right so uh, as y'all can see um, right back here we got the computer plugged up and as y'all can also see right down here I apologize about the lighting but right there I had some washers up under there and I removed those so now we're about to do what we're about to do is is we're about to power on this computer and I'm gonna show y'all um, what everybody, the problem that everybody's been having. All right, y'all can see two, three, and four with the orange amber light. If you listen real close, uh, you hear the fan is ramping up. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's power this thing here off. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, fix this problem. Alrighty, uh, folks, so here is the tray that we're having trouble with. I wanted to point out something here. As y'all can see, see that right there? It's only got one screw holding this up. Now, look right here. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, have nothing else up underneath there. Look at that right there. Yeah, it's like a lot of play. So uh, I'm about to put y'all on the trusty, dusty Manfrotto stand here, and we're about to get uh, about to get cooking on this thing here. So let's go ahead and let's do it. I was trying to get this screw out of here, but um, well, it's not really picking up, but it's right now in there. So what I'm gonna have to do is is I'm going to have to drill the hole down here up in the middle, remove my video card. Let's do that. There we go, finally got it out. Keep in mind we're gonna be using a drill and a drill bit and it's gonna be something like that. All right, so we got that little plastic off there. So that right there, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but that right there fits just fine. I got my uh, caliper here. Let's see what this is at right now. Then that way we can see what we're working with. All right, this is uh, 10.3 millimeters. There's that right there. All right, so I finally figured out how to uh, access this screw way back here. Y'all see it? You need to get yourself a long screwdriver, something like that right there and um, 
what we need to do is to make this here easier take that do it like that ha ha got it so let's see is there something else holding this in let me uh, check and see if there's anything else uh, holding this tray here in. To deal with uh, the screw and all that, I think I came up with a much better idea. Alright, so well, let me show y'all uh, these guys right here. Alright, so these right here um, are not rubber washers. They're actually... Um, some type of plastic something or another I'm not real sure so what I done was um, stack them on top of each other like that and then we have this right down here y'all see it this here is 12.2 millimeter that right there is doing the trick what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, take some jb well plastic bonder um i got plenty of it right over here and uh i gotta go through my all my stuff here uh yeah we got a brand new one right here use this right here it's the mixing tool if you would we're going to do that right now All right, so uh, as you can see, it's holding on there already. Here's what we got right here. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to take um, a JB Well plastic bonder and I'm going to apply um, a little bit right up here at the top. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to uh, apply some here at the top. You see that red mark right there? Put some uh, JB Well plastic bonder down there. We're going to apply a little bit to this here. And this right here is going to be the permanent fix. Permanent. So we're just going to take this. Here we're going to lift up on it a little bit and we need it right about there. We want this right here to be a permanent fix, right? We don't we don't want this to move. I'm actually going to try to um, apply some over here uh, on the other side. Uh, are y'all in frame? Are y'all paying attention to what I'm doing here? Uh, we're going to try to get one up under here. I finally got everything modded, fixed, and everything with this big beast. So, uh, anyway, here we have this right here. And I'm going to show y'all what I've done down here. So anyway, uh, the idea with the screw and all that, we just have a hole here now, uh, which that's fine. Now what we need to do is, is we need to go ahead and we need to slap the riser board back up in here and let's see if it actually works. So you just want to take, and you want to slide it in. Now you got this cable right here. Just I like to lift mine up and do it like that. Let 
let's see if it works so as you can see uh, apologize about the lighting but yeah got everything all set up so yeah here's proof there you have it thank me later